Hello, my dears. This is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing, and today I have another episode of Scrap a Blessing. I am super excited to be here with you today. Today we are going to share a little bit of my process during this birthday layout that I will create with a ton of different material from Stamping Up. I love Stamping Up product. I represent it, and I enjoy just mixing it up to make my 12 by 12 layouts and so much more. But little by little, I'll keep bringing different ideas. Today I want to share the process for this particular layout and I made a list for you so you have an idea of how this came to be. I first started choosing a sketch and I actually drew this sketch myself. I went ahead and drew something like this. You may be able to see it right there a little bit. It is not in the computer or anything. It's just hand drawn. I thought about it. I can put balloons here, wish big here, some journaling here. And then I wanted to have different pictures and I know that it's easy for me to print some three by four pictures. So that's exactly what I did. I printed some three by fours. I I like using my Project Life app, which is free on my phone. And I also use the Print to Size app, which is really easy. And I'll be posting a picture on my blog, stampablessing.com, on what this, what was the size that I used to actually make this pocket photos um, three by four with a border. So I'll share with you a picture over there. But I chose my sketch and then I chose some of my favorite pictures of one of my daughter's birthdays, which was this month. And we celebrated her at home during this season of COVID-19. But there's always good things to celebrate. So that's what I focus on, on what I can celebrate, okay? And I want to inspire you to do the same. I chose my photos and then I printed the photos. I go through the process. I chose some papers and you know what? These pictures have so many colors. And usually if you use a paper that is really, really colorful, you may go with black and white. But this little butterfly that I have in here, it's a very, very happy girl. She's very colorful. She's explosive. She's just happy girl and i thought you know what i'm gonna put this together with um with a lot of colors so i i decided to use the papers from c a silhouette designer shoes paper and it's one of the my favorites in the catalog this one will be retiring now in june 2nd so grab it while you can but it's absolutely gorgeous and i pulled two of the different ones right here love this watercolor splash it looks like i did a lot of mixed media i did not <laughs> I keep the things simple sometimes and the paper allows me to do that. Then after I chose my papers, I went ahead and chose which were my main embellishments. And I'm giving you my process so that you can create your own process. You don't have to always scrapbook the same way, but this helps me to start moving, okay? To move forward, to have a process to say, I did my sketch, I have my photos printed, I have my papers, and I actually start putting them here on this table. And what I did next was picking the main embellishments. I wanted stamps and die cuts to be the main embellishment. In this case, I have a punch and a cake. And this is the piece of cake photopolymer stamp set from Stamping Up. It will be retiring now in June 2nd, but I thought I wanted to use it and before it goes away. It's totally beautiful, so I'll be mixing it up. And then I have the Broadway Birthday and the Broadway Lights Framelits Dice. Comes with beautiful balloons and a hat and also with this wonderful wish that is right here that I want to use as part of my title. I know my title is gonna be down there at some point. I saw it on my sketch, you see? I put the title down here. So I decided to use it. I am not totally sure if I'm gonna use the Pick a Pennant, one of my retired stamp sets, but I love banners. And the Playful Pennant Framelits dies are still available and I love them. They are in the clearance. So I may be able to add some of the banners around you. We'll see. I have Poppy Parade, Crush Curry, Rich Russell Berry, and Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. I got my stamping blends as well and some Whisper White Thick Cardstock to start stamping and start moving things around. Let's see how this ends up. I'll put some music and I'll just start creating and I hope that you are inspired. At the end of this video, I will share a little bit more about my journaling and about the process per se. Thanks for being here.
for today. I totally hope you enjoy this layout and you are inspired to celebrate those around you and give thanks for even in the midst of hard times, there are people and gifts that you can celebrate. And today I have this for a giveaway. So just leave me some comments below. And next Thursday for Scrap a Blessing, I will be announcing the winner of the Noble Pickup Rhinestones. Thank you so much for being with me. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. Thank you. God bless. Ciao, ciao.